Today's video is all about fall decor ideas and I'm showing you some fall door decorations that you can copy that are really easy and inexpensive to do in your own home or apartment. I'm Sophia Lee. I'm a recent college graduate who is obsessed with turning her first apartment into a home. I'm taking you along with me and showing you my best decorating ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks so that you can make your apartment look Pinterest perfect while sticking to a budget. I'm here to help you turn your apartment into a place you will love. Okay, here's the deal. So, I wanted to decorate my apartment door really cute for fall, but I started looking at like different wreaths and mats and I was realizing how dang expensive everything is. Like it is insane how much these things add up. So I'm on a mission to create a really cute front door area at my apartment. And at the time of this video, it'll obviously be done. So here is the before and here is the after. But I'm gonna be showing you some easy fall door decorations that you can replicate and do in your own home or apartment or just even give you some ideas on things that you can I mean, you don't have to do the exact same thing, obviously, but something is similar. And I think it's just gonna be really easy, but pull together really quick and look really good. The first thing that I'll be showing you how to make is a fall doormat. And I started looking for fall doormats online. They are pricey. Like I did not know how expensive these things were. So then I was like, can I buy a plain doormat and just do it myself? And that's what I ended up doing. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, if you have an Ikea by you, you can do this for a lot cheaper. Like you could make this whole doormat for under $10. I don't have an Ikea by me, so I had ordered this on Amazon. So this is probably around like 20-ish dollars, which you really could just find one at Target for like 20-ish dollars. But this was kind of more of what I wanted and Target didn't have this. So um, this is how I made my front fall. <laughs> fall doormat. Okay, here are the supplies that I'm using to create this doormat. So I got this doormat from Amazon, but you can find them cheaper at, especially at Ikea. They had them at Ikea for $5. I don't have an Ikea around me, so that's why I ordered this from Amazon. But if you have an Ikea near you, go there, because they're so much cheaper. Um, and then I'll link everything that I use. But, so I have this which is just plain. And I probably should have laid this out so that it could, could stretch out. And then I got some acrylic paint, which is what was recommended to use for an outdoor mat. So we'll see if it stays well. I got some like blotting brush thing. And then I ordered this mat to layer underneath it. I didn't want to do the like, what is that called? The plaid pattern or whatever, because I just feel like everyone does that. I know that this, this really isn't that original either, but I just thought it was a little cuter. And then I got these stencils um, from Hobby Lobby to make the letters with, and I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. I bought both and I'm gonna return one of them because I wasn't really sure on the size of the mat or anything. So that is the supplies that I'm using. And then let's go actually attempt to make this thing. Okay, so I don't really know the best way to go about this to make sure that it's like laid out and spaced evenly and I'm not even really worrying about that to be honest. I'm kind of just, well I cut this little spacer thing out that I am going to then like space everything in equally from that, like each letter, but other than that, I'm just gonna wing it, I think. I'm not gonna be too perfect about it. I mean, I know that the, the P in the middle, so maybe I'll start with the middle one. And then I'll start with this one slightly off since we're gonna be doing a comma. Okay, so I just took the first one off and it looks so good. I think the key was going in with that first and then going in with that. But now let's see if I can do the other. I used a J as a spacer, but hopefully the rest of it turns out as cute as that looks. To make this as easy for myself as possible, I just folded some blue tape over and then laid it out and then I'm gonna lay these 
directly on it to try to make it straight. And then I'm not making this chromatically correct, so I'm not having the comma. And that way I can center the P and the E directly on top of each other since the E is the center of the hay and the P is the center of the pumpkin. So obviously, I've said this a million times, but filler piece, so just act like that's not there. But that one looks really good, so I'm hoping that these all also turn out really good. result and I think that looks so cute so while that's drying let me show you the other stuff I got for my employee so I got this wreath from Kirkland's it was $24.99 if you can see right there and that was actually such a good price for a wreath and I think it's really cute and then I got these pumpkins so my plan for these pumpkins is well actually I have two plants okay so let me show you let me show you this first. So I got these fall flowers. I got this one. I got this one and this one, and these were only six dollars on my grocery store. And then this little pot thing is from um, Home Goods. And so what I my plan is is I'm gonna like layer these up, and then I'm gonna also have these kind of layered too. And um, I don't like the tops of these, so I am going to put some gold rub and buff on those and see what they look like. I'm hoping, my biggest fear is that they'll look tacky. So hopefully it doesn't look tacky and it looks cute, but that is what I'm doing for the rest of it. And then we can go actually set it up and put it together. Okay, so I seriously, I use gold rub and buff everywhere in my apartment and it just works really, really well. And one of these small tubes will get you so far, like this will last you on so many projects. Um, and yeah, my favorite one's in the gold rub and buff. And let's see if this works. Ideally, once like white pumpkins actually come out, that's what I'm gonna put out there because these are so light, I'm worried about them blowing away. So that'll actually be interesting to see if they survive and then i'm just gonna put a little oh you have to open it duh and then i'm just gonna put a little on there and that's like honestly too much like this gold rub and buff gets so you you can just get so much use out of it Okay, now we're outside and we're gonna put together that doormat, the pumpkins, and just put everything together. I hope it inspired you for your own apartment door or your house door and I just think it looks very I think it looks a lot more expensive than it actually was to put together especially like the doormat I mean those can be like $50 up so to be able to do it for like $15 is so much cheaper and it looks so cute and then also those little pump white pumpkins and I just think it came together really well so hopefully it inspired you for your own fall decor and your own fall door decorations for more apartment decor ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks, follow me on Instagram at bysophialee and subscribe to my channel.